good morning student in this video i'll tell you one important mathematical tool which is used in physics the mathematical tools which are used in physics are trigonometric tools calculus tools mostly so trigonometric tools we have already studied in 10th standard so calculus tools differentiation and integration so i'll tell you about differentiation and the portion which will be used in physics this is my channel name okay so we'll start with differentiation differentiation if y is the function of x then dy upon dx is known as differential coefficient of y with respect to x mathematically it is written as limit h tending to 0 fx plus h minus fx upon h if you put h equal to 0 you're going to get 0 upon 0 that is known as the first principle in mathematics I'll tell you what is the need of differentiation and how it is used in physics. So we consider on the left side, we consider equation y equal to x. If you plot y equal to x, you're going to get a straight line. And if you obtain the slope of this straight line, that is y upon x, that will be equal to 1. And the slope is equal to 10 theta, so it will make 45 degree with x-axis. So the slope is nothing, slope is known as dy upon dx that means differential coefficient of y with respect to x now considering another function y equal to x square if you plot you're going to get like this it's a parabola okay if you obtain the slope at different different points then the slope will be coming different so the slope is obtained by calculating differential coefficient of y with respect to x so differentiation is much needed to study if you want to obtain slope if you want to study the variation differentiation is much needed so quickly i'll jump to the formula i'll not discuss in detail i'll only discuss that portion which is needed in physics so the first formula for differentiation is d over dx of x to the power n that is n x to the power n minus 1 that means if you differentiate x cube then you are going to get 3 x to the power 3 minus 1 that means 3 x square Second formula, d over dx of sin x, that is cos x. d over dx of cos x, third formula, that is minus sin x. d over dx of tan x, that is sec square x. d over dx of log e base x, that is 1 upon x. d upon dx, or d over dx of e to the power x, that is e to the power x. Okay, these are the formula that you need to learn and you should make a note also. The seventh formula is, if a function is multiplied by a constant and if which is differentiated, then the constant can be taken out. So it can be written like this, d over dx of k into f x, where k is a constant, then k can be taken out. It will be k d over dx of f x. The next one is, d over dx of a constant is 0. So constant differentiation is always 0. The next one is, d over dx of x equal to 1. Very similarly, if you are differentiating y with respect to y, dy over dy, that it will be equal to 1. So, this formula you should make a note and you try to learn. Now, the product rule which will be utilized in physics also in one of the chapter. So, if y is equal to uv, that means product of two variables. And if you want to differentiate y, so how you can get? You can get by leaving first and differentiating second plus differentiating first and leaving second. That means dy over dx will be equal to u dv over dx plus du over dx du over dx into v. That means leaving first, differentiating second plus differentiating first, leaving second. Let's take a quick example of this product rule. See, if the function is given as y equal to x cube sin x. So x cube is the first function, x cube is the first function and sin x will be the second function. Then we have to find dy upon dx. So, leaving x cube, differentiating sin x. Differentiating x cube, leaving sin x. Sin x differentiation is cos x. And x cube differentiation is 3x square. So, it will be x cube cos x plus 3x square sin x. Now, you might be thinking, why we are studying this portion of mathematics? What is the use in physics? So, I'll show you in this video. See. As you have studied in 9th standard that velocity is equal to displacement upon time. So if velocity is continuously changing or the displacement is continuously changing then how you can write down? You can write down for the small change in displacement with respect to small interval of time. So 
so the formula will be v equal to ds upon dt or you can write down differential coefficient of displacement with respect to time very similarly acceleration acceleration that will be equal to dv over dt we have studied acceleration equal to rate of change of velocity so we can say from the differentiation acceleration is rate of change of velocity or the differential coefficient of velocity with respect to time okay so in the later part i will tell you or in the next video i will tell you that how it will be used but you should understand the basics so you after watching these videos i have given some problems also try to solve that then later on i will tell you that how it is used in physics in detail okay now the problems quick problems i have taken okay and then i have solved then later on i have given you homework also so d over dx of x to the power 5 so x to the power n formula is applied 5x power 4 d over dx of 3x square 3 is a constant taken out 3 is a constant taken out so d over dx of x square that means 2x so 3 into 2 6x d over dx of pi pi is a constant so you're going to get is equal next is d over dx of sin 5x important thing now sin 5x is initially differentiated so you're going to guess get cos 5x but 5x is further differentiated so you're going to get 5 so it should be multiplied that's a rule that means you have to differentiate sin x first sin 5x first then you're going to get cos 5x and cos 5x after cos 5x 5x to be differentiated and whatever you are getting that you need to multiply it so 5 we are getting so we will multiply with 5 okay next example we can take d over dx of cos 2x so cos 2x that will be differentiated like this cos 2x differentiated so it will be minus sin 2x and 2x differentiated so you will get 2 so 2 to be multiplied so it will be minus 2 sin 2x okay now the homework after this video you have to solve the following first is d over dx of x to the power 7 second is d over dx of sin 8x third is d over dx of cos 4x fourth is d over dx of sin 5 by 4 fifth is d over dx of x cube sin 2x 6 is d over dx of x to the power 5 cos 4x and 7th is d over dx of e to the power x sin 2x 8th is d over dx of x e to the power x plus log e base x 9th is d over dx of tan 4x and the last one 10th is d over dx of 5 sin x plus x cos 3s x cos 3x so complete these 10 problems learn the formula okay then in the next video we will study that how these mathematical tools or how this differentiation tool can be used in physics so next problem i'll come with next video i will come with physics problems okay thank you